up with it Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, sink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know, what's an off day Now we on road, keep us Alright, what is good, John? Welcome back to yet again Another episode of J.I. Productions It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again With another banger video for you guys now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, in today's video, we will be doing a review of my exhaust setup. I can't say the AWE exhaust setup because it's not the full through and through connected to the headers all the way back. It's just the axle back. It's not a cat back. So, we are just going to be going over my exhaust setup, man. I'm going to be getting you guys some sound clips, some flybys, some revs. You know, we're going to outside clips inside clips the whole the whole nine man i know you guys want some flybys a lot of people have been asking me for some flybys via the dms man i hear y'all you know what i'm saying so with that being said we're on our way to go meet up with somebody that you know what i'm saying if you've been here for a while at least the past couple months you you should already know he's a familiar face but if not well, y'all see in about, well, three, two. Now, if y'all don't know about this red Jeep, you know what I'm saying? Jeez, my boy. Oh, hell no, nah. you can't be doing that. About to in the tunnel. Alright, alright. In the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, this is I, a think place. It, I think it looks great though, bro. It's a place of work, sir. You know, we, we, we okay the only such activities. Yeah. You know, we're we're mature over here. But I, I was telling them, you feel me? So like I kinda wanna get like basically I'm doing a review on the exhaust okay. setup, you feel me? So basically speed engineering, long tube headers, catalyst, X pipe. AWE axle back all the way back. As y'all can hear, a nice deep tone for the idol. Make sure y'all tap in with my boy Alex, man. You already know it's right here on the screen. Make sure you go tap in. Go show my boy some love. He's steady working. We trying to get him in the mirror, man. So go book your streets now, goddamn, no cap. But those, that's big military choppers right there, bro. What the f Ah, y'all can barely see him, bro. They ain't got no lights on them joints. Them lights that's flickering right now, bro. Them is big military helicopters, bro. Two of them. Go ahead, Kurt. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, hopefully they don't come look for us after this. I'm on the side of this tunnel right now, trying to get you guys some content, man. We're trying to figure it out. I'm about to hop back in right now. It's just this is really nerve-wracking because like it's three lanes turning into two, and they are like coming mad close right now. No cap. And at first, like the people on like this lane right here was not getting over. Now we got enough room. I'm finna get in the car. We're gonna figure this out, man. Yes, yes, the shorts do say J.I. Squad. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in, man. BYO. Shop. No cap. Get your shorts. Get your tees. Shit. <laughs> oh my God. So, as you guys can obviously tell, we are having a shoot right now with my boy Alex. He's actually 
right there. Now make sure y'all go tap in with my boy. It's been a minute since we linked up, man. You know what I'm saying? But we're back at it. Like we never left. At another dope spot, as you guys can see. Sheesh. Vader looks too good. Shout out my boy Frank. You know what I'm saying? He took the car and got it nice and clean for today's shoot for me, bro. And I must say, golly. Even from up here, that thing looks stupid. Honestly. Man. So yeah, man, we got a nice little, nice little building type vibe. You feel me? While I have you guys' attention, man, I just wanted to go over a couple things um, real quick about the build, you know, what to expect from here. Um, as you guys know, the track that I race at, Houston Raceway Park, HRP, um, out in Baytown, and basically, Houston Raceway Park has, you know, legal race nights every Friday, or a majority of the Fridays, you know, periodically throughout the year. So with that being said, there's about three more track events, um, and that is the only quarter mile track in Houston. As you guys know, if you've been it's part of the channel, you know, you've watched the vlogs, you've been up to date with all of them, then you guys know I really don't care for eighth mile racing. I'm more of a quarter mile kind of guy. So with that being said, I really don't get out to HMP, which is Houston Motorplex, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that's the eighth mile track that we have out here in Houston. Um, I really don't like going out there. I don't really even know how many track days they have left. But I'm saying all that to say this. As far as right now, bro, full Bolton setup or Bolton setup, unopened motor, this is basically where Vader's gonna sit, man. It's pretty much done. Um, the car is, like you guys know, headers, intake E85, non-porter intake manifold, LT2, um, stock throttle body, and exhaust. That's pretty much it. It's a basic setup, a bolt-on setup, stock heads, um, no cam, stock cam, everything. So with that being said, the car is pretty much done as of right now i'm just focused on getting the car 100 percent dialed in as you guys know winter is upon us it's on the way you do what i'm saying so that means when the track is open if i can get to it we should be seeing really really good times because if you guys aren't aware cold air makes for horsepower i guess you could say not really but it makes for a very very high volumetric efficiency which is basically what cars run on so with you know cooler air the engine is colder it's producing a lot more horsepower the car is moving faster you're going to get your best times while the car is cold basically you know when a car gets hot and it starts to heat soak the car pulls timing so that you don't damage the motor so with that being said running during the summer and the temperatures that i've been running the car in the weather temps that i've been running the car in is not the best so i'm super stoked for the winter especially running e85 um with the hp tuners device and you know the guys over at nrg brandon and christian we're going to be able to get vader very 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 dialed in um at the track and just overall with the tune 100 percent after that i know you guys are waiting i know you guys are waiting i know you guys hear vader right now it sounds phenomenal with the awe exhaust shout out awe but we need a little more it sounds good but it's missing it's, it's just missing one thing it's missing a cam man all right vader is missing a cam okay as you guys know like i just said man the car is still on the stock cam um and so as of right now vader's next move is going to be a cam package we are going btr i'm not going to give out the specs of the cam just yet but just know the cam is going to be crazy the car is going to sound stupid and it's going to perform just as well if not even better um now as of right now there are some talks with manny about getting some head work done 
So maybe, maybe not. We will be heads cam. I do know for sure. We will be getting the intake manifold ported and we will be upgrading to the ZL1 throttle body. So, you know, a little bit bigger of a throttle body, a little bit better of a throttle body versus the stock one that I have right now. Of course, it will be ported. Um, so yeah, man, as of right now, Vader is pretty much done, y'all. I just want to keep it a buck, man. Keep the transparency that I've already had with you guys on all of the builds, man. I'm not hiding nothing. I don't care about, like, you know, being the fastest 1LD or the fastest Camaro, or the fastest NA car or SS or whatever the case may be. I just want, you know, to build my dreams. Like I told you guys, I'm just chasing my dreams and I'm recording every step of the way, man. Taking you guys along the journey that it is, you know, building one of these cars or building one of your dream cars or building up to getting your dream car and then going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally everything that I've dreamed of is right in front of me right now and I'm about to go crazy. Drop the cam in this joint and, you know, it's only going to get up from here. We're going to start with the cam and then we'll just keep working our way up to boost and Go from there, man. You know, got my boy Alex going crazy. The Michelin Pilot Sports are looking dummy in the rear. I'm not going to lie. Um, I will say, quick update. Like I told you guys, I would tell y'all. Um, the car has no rubbing issues whatsoever. Thankfully, I'm super stoked about that. Um, the tires, they really fill up the gap perfectly. I cannot, I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, I'm actually about to do the front. So I will be going to a 285 35 20 instead of the 285 30 20 that's up front um so it will be a little bit of a chunkier sidewall hopefully it doesn't rub if it does then i will drop back down but i do have to get these tires for sure so with that being said man that's just a little update on vader man i i feel like you know you guys know what it is but if you're new to the channel you don't know what it is and if you guys follow me on instagram then you, you've seen my most recent post or one of my most recent posts where I basically just said on my story that Vader is pretty much done as of this phase, man. I, It's really nothing more that I want to do to the car as far as this setup right here on this current tune other than just dial it in and make sure that it's 100% good to go. Um, as you guys know, we just got the AEM AFR gauge installed on the vehicle. You know, I did it, of course. Um, but you know, just getting the car dialed in 100%. I want to say I appreciate you guys for real. The love and support has been going crazy right now on Instagram. Same thing on YouTube, man. I really appreciate you guys. We're almost at 4K. If you haven't already, just hit that subscribe button for the kid, man. Turn on those post notifications. I'm going to keep on bringing you guys this great content. Let me take y'all. Let me let me take y'all to the back of Vader, man. I don't want to interrupt my boy Alex. He's at work, man. But sheesh, look at them. Just look at that, bro. Oh my god. The car is in. Jeez. It's missing a chop, bro. It's missing a chop. That stock cam is great, but it's not It's not enough. I need, like, the car rocking, everything, like, going crazy. You feel me? My boy Alex is the man at work, the master with the plan. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, you guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited about the cam and possible head package that I'm about to throw in the car? If you are, give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Got to wrap it up for this one. Let's go ahead and roll that outro. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.